Welcome back, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to another episode of Music with Nick. Today we got some awesome tracks and uh, by Narvik. Thank you so much, Narvik, for um, requesting this, for sponsoring this video. So today we're gonna go back and do some. Um, I'm gonna do some uh, Barkley James Harvest for him. We're gonna do the song Summer Soldier, and this is from Baby James Harvest and. It's super weird because I looked it up on Spotify and as always, they have the year wrong. It, it said 2017. I was like, nah, no way. So I did look it up on um, uh, on online and it, indeed it's 1972. So maybe it's a remaster. It doesn't say anything about being remastered, but I just know that this is an older progressive rock band from England. So yeah. Uh, it's like this doesn't look I love the cover by the way with the baby in the bucket awesome stuff um, nice uh, genres progressive rock art rock I love art rock if you look up Kansas it comes off as art rock more than progressive this which is kind of cool okay so without further ado thank you Narvik thank you so much for all your support thank you for everyone who's watching for supporting these videos for watching you know for watching alexia as well with me and then i'm so proud of her she's um playing uh she's now dedicating more time to the guitar really learning and i'm so excited can't wait to jam together um as you saw the little video where she was just practicing a little bit of rhythm with the metronome so um check that out if you want to okay without further ado let's go do Summer Soldier, and this is a lengthier song. I'm always excited for longer songs. I love how Narvik just like, um, he said that he, when he works, for example, he uh, he just listens to very lengthy songs, and he, that's just you know what he digs, and I dig that too. I'm I'm a sucker for for a long you know for a long song. So I'm always excited to get those requests. So um, let's get into it. Have fun, guys. Comment below what you think. Um, if it's your first time listening to them, did, did you know them? Um, and uh, yeah, let's just have fun. All right, here we go. Ooh. For whom the bell tolls, Metallica. <laughs> oh, it's the Big Ben. Those are the bells from whom from the bell tolls. Metallica. Sorry for the soldier who was shot and stoned in anger. I 
feel sorry for his wife and child at home I feel sorry for the bummer Who all life and limb dishonors For the people that he's maimed and left alone Lord God said, love thy neighbor, though in human life he craves, he's still a man. I feel sorry for the children who with open minds are willing to fight for ideals aging past their time. I feel sorry for their children. Who will join the vicious circle Of instinct fear bred from their parents' mind The Lord God said love thy neighbor Break the circle free the hater Call him a friend Call him a friend Call him a friend Wake up, wake up There's a man by your side With a knife and a gun in each hand Wake up, wake up You're one and the same It's time to step and decide Is it love or hate? Is it peace or war? It's for sure there's no in between. Politicians point views, but they're pointing for you. The solution has to be seen. Has to be seen. Has to be seen. loving this i got a little teared up there for a second the lyrics because i did pull them up um wow it's so crazy i just love the whole introduction to the song with you know the bells like literally the bells and then the whole the war i mean you could see people see it almost in my mind you know like getting into a fight and attacking each other and kill kill you know the command and then the soldier is basically the one that loses in the end you know i mean because look and he's like i'm sorry for the that i killed you you know like i'm sorry for your parents i'm sorry for your kids who lost you i mean at the end and even he talks about the whole political aspect of war you know it's all conquer and uh, kill and conquer because we as human beings, we're not bad pe beings, you know. We don't thrive, you know, to go to war and kill, you know. We just, we do it to defend. But the other pe the person, the other person is also defending. Or, or there is instances like in World War II, um, Germany, who was literally invading but also under a command you know they were invading under the orders of um you know adolf hitler or you know mussolini the italians were like also the uh, of the axis of evil in the japanese they were like they had politicians who were like hey you know what we don't care well they just let's break all rules and what's going on right now for example with russia you know um 
it's crazy that people just go blindly and say, yeah, I'm going to go and kill this person that I don't know these people. So war has always been a very crazy subject, I think, for humanity because nobody really loves war. I don't think a soldier that goes to war to kill comes back the same way. Never. I mean, and I know, I'm sure a lot of you people um, have had, have been in, in, in a war or have families uh, go to war. My grandfather was in World War II. Alexia's grandfather was in World War II. So we have family who uh, were affected by this whole thing. And, and it's like, they point a gun at you, you know, for example, in Germany. It's like, okay, you either fight for this country or you die. Right here and right now. So it's so crazy. It's really sad how you have to go and basically defend your country or and fight for your country. Otherwise, you either get killed or you get killed on the front or you come back and you're broken, you know. So it's it's just horrible. But well, um, this is a very beautiful song. I love the acoustic guitar and the drums and the bass. There's no distortion. Only on the lead guitar, there's the... I think I don't know if it's a crybaby in its early stages, or it almost sounds like a talk box. But I would go, I would go with crybaby. Um, it's just so tough, you know. Um, yeah, and I have a good friend, and I don't want to like because it's personal, you know. I have a good friend who has a brother who was in a in a war, and I don't want to name exactly what war, just to keep it private, but. It's a loss, you know, it's, it, it will never be forgotten. And even if they come back, they don't come back the same. And I've had some friends, even younger friends, who were uh, in certain wars and they're just not the same people. And we go to the movies and there's some suddenly an explosion and they're like shivering, you know. Um, or my grandfather, he was always waking up screaming in, during the night, you know, for years and years. So... Yeah, it's just uh, it's a crazy thing uh, that we can still not live in peace on this earth. But, uh, well, okay, I'm going to keep going because I, I tend to ramble. I'm sorry about this, but I mean, I do have to express myself. But I'm loving the music. I love the lyrics and I love the um, musicianship and everything's great. Let's, let's continue. I rewound a little bit so we get the full experience.
bass is so good in the song. It's like literally he's playing just like a solo during the... I love that. Um, when bass players were still playing their bass like a lead instrument in the song, you know. Not a lot of bands do that, but back in the day. And this is a progressive rock band, so... And um, here I'm talking against Warren wearing a Star Wars shirt, you know. <laughs> it literally, like it says in the lyrics, it, it gets fed to us from when we're kids, you know. I mean, this is supposed to be like a kid's movie, you know. I mean, as far as we... George Lucas has always said this is for kids. Star Wars. So... It's not Star Trek, it is war. It has the title War. And everybody's like, Star Wars, you know, Star Wars. And they, I don't even think about it anymore. I mean, I love Star Wars because of the fantasy aspect, but it is fighting, 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 killing, you know? So, yeah. It's just the thing that it just came into my mind. I'm like, I'm looking at the camera. Is everything okay? Because sometimes... It goes out of focus. I'm like, oh, oh, the shirt. Okay. See, so literally my point. Let's continue. Sorry. I dreamt I saw an angel bright. I hail the one his brow. His golden sword lay in it. last part this last part was so good like it sounded really like almost like something I would hear in a dream theater song now it's very like epic and very emotional very cool outro of this very Beatles there for a bit, you know. Very cool, man. Man, Narvik, as always, thank you so much. Um, all of you guys are so have such wonderful taste. It's always such a adventure to go on, and you know, I mean, I've heard some, you know, uh, Barkley James Harvest, but. Uh, 
I'm really becoming a fan. It's so good. It's so rich in music. This whole song was a trip, you know, like, and I, I, I no, no, no. I talked like, I guess over 10 minutes. I'm sorry about that. I don't mean to interrupt, but in the end, I guess it is, you know, to talk about, you know, I wish we could do this live and just, you know, have some people in the, in the chat and, and, or online and just listen to music and talk about the whole thing. You know, we, we would sit there for hours. I, I, I'm sure, but, um, uh, well, I hope everybody enjoyed this as much as I did. Thank you, Narvik, for sponsoring the video, for being such a, um, you know, such a great supporter of this. You know, there's so many people that are so invested in this channel and they want to see Alexa and I, you know, get further and succeed and get more subs. And we got the 50,000, you know some days ago and I can't believe it. I'm so happy and I'm proud of us and it has been such a lot of work, but also so much fun and so much, so rewarding. And we have so many new friends, all of you guys. And when we go live, it's man, it's like being with friends, you know, for, for real. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did the song. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. <laughs>